Hello, I'm Justin Gallagher, Associate Publisher of the American Journal of Managed Care. Welcome to This Week in Managed Care from the Managed Markets News Network. This week, the American Journal of Managed Care formally marked its 20th year of publication with a reception in Orlando, Florida, that brought together its first editor-in-chief and the current editorial board, as well as contributors to our year-long anniversary commentary series. The journal also presented its first ever Seema Sanad Emerging Leader in Managed Care Award to Dr. Julia Adler Milstein of the University of Michigan. Dr. Adler Milstein was the 2014 guest editor of the AGMC special issue on health information technology. Julia Adler Milstein, um, I think, is the most effective, prolific researcher studying how do we actually use information technology to make care better. You know, the bottom line is that we have all sorts of problems with healthcare in our country, and information technology is going to play a critical role in figuring out how to help us deliver better care. Uh, but there's a big research agenda there of sorting out how do we make information technology a key part of performance improvement. We just don't know how to do it. And Julia has really been doing the cutting edge work in this area and teaching us all sorts of things about how to use information technology better. This week, the World Health Organization gained attention with a study in Lancet Oncology that said processed meat causes cancer and red meat probably does as well. While some health advocates praised the study, critics said the WHO announcement failed to distinguish the level of risk processed meat causes, and that no one should think an occasional serving of bacon is as dangerous as smoking. The WHO study goes further than the proposed recommendations from the Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee, which call for eating less red and processed meat, but do not say to eliminate it from diets. Representatives from the meat industry criticized the WHO study and AGMC reported on research that finds this kind of confusion can make consumers ignore nutrition advice completely, even widely accepted findings. Death rates for five of the six leading causes of death have dropped over the past generation, with the exception being chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. Findings reported this week in JAMA said that death rates for all causes had slowed from 1969 to 2013, with rates dropping for heart disease, cancer, stroke, diabetes, and unintended injuries. Authors attributed the drop to progress in treating heart disease and stroke, as well as success in getting people to quit smoking. The 42% drop in death rates during this period, or 1.3% a year, means that the United States has many more very old adults than in the past, which has different healthcare consequences. Do you understand the 340B drug program? Do you understand how it affects drug prices? If you want to learn more, see our feature, Five Things to Know About 340B. It's the latest installment in a new AJMC feature, Five Things to Know, which appears every Friday to give readers fast information about current topics in healthcare. The current feature appears on AJMC.com. For the Managed Market News Network, I'm Justin Gallagher. Thanks for joining us.